recite some clam, drop some clam knowledge on y'all. Clams are bivalves. That means they have two shells. They eat plankton. That's all I really know about clams. <laughs> We just drove out from Brooklyn, New York to Babylon on Long Island and we're meeting up with Bill. He's a clam out here. Bill! Faraday, how are you? How are you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Good. My name is Bill Zeller and we're in my clam shop. It's Cap Tree Clam. We're in the wholesale shellfish distribution business. I started Cap Tree Clam when I was a kid in 1973. So we've been in business 45 years. Boy. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do you have like your secret spots or is I there do. like, yeah? I'm going to share it to you, but I'm not going to tell you the coordinates. No problem. You won't tell anybody. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, Ryan. So what's your technique for clam digging around here? Just work your feet and dunk. How many did you get? Twice as many. <laughs> okay, I got one. Going under. So Just I one. <laughs> How many you got? Four. <laughs> oh, there's so many right here. How far are they? You beat me. I only have three. Sucker. <laughs> so here we are. How many pounds is that, do you think? This is probably, my guess would be 18 pounds. We'll eat some now, and then we'll eat the rest later at the clam bake. Perfect. By the way, does anyone have to use the restroom before we go? I've been a million times in the water already. You can mind back out. <laughs> so if a fresh clam is very hard to shuck. What you do is you go in and you get one abductor muscle, which is right here. Give it a twist, come across the top of the shell, and then very quickly flip. You don't want any meat on this side. Damn, you're a professional. And then what you do is you come over and you get the abductor muscle here, and then he's ready to go. Cheers. Cheers. Just like that. That's so good. Elwood, come here. Come have a clam. Get that clam. <laughs> We've got a lot of clams over here. We've just dug and eaten a lot of them fresh right here on the boat. We're gonna head back over to East Islip. And I'm gonna start up a clam bake. Yeah, I'll bring some friends. Sounds like a plan. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you very much. This looks like a good spot for a clam bake. Right here, close to the water, we got a volleyball net, lots of seaweed. Perfect, beautiful day for it. So I basically got everything ready to go over here. We're gonna dig a hole, probably about two by two by two, so two feet by two feet and about two feet deep. Basically like the sand will help insulate everything so it kind of gets in there and then cooks really evenly. So you can see there's a bunch of water in there. I don't need to go much deeper than that. I'm gonna um, line the inside of this hole with some rocks. Do you want like kind of flat beach pebble rocks? So I'm just gonna line the base and up the sides. Isn't this fun? Rocking out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my hole lined with some rocks, and now I'm gonna build a fire over top of that. I'm gonna stick some smaller guys in there too. I'm building kind of a log cabin. You just wanna make sure you're getting a lot of air in there because the fire needs oxygen to burn. So the fire is starting to burn. We want the rocks nice and hot so that they can cook the food. And then we'll start building our clam bake on top of that. So we're really lucky to be at a beach where there's fresh seaweed here, wet seaweed that we're gonna use for the clam bake. The point is though, you want it to be wet. Um, it's gonna kind of hold in the heat and everything. If you have like the dry seaweed, it's just gonna burn. Look at all this beautiful wet seaweed. This is gonna help us with our clam bake. So while my fire is um, burning down a charcoal, I'm gonna get all my food ready. My bottom layer is gonna be the things that take longer to cook, like my chicken, my sausages, and my potatoes. And then the next layer of the clam bake is gonna be things that don't take quite as long. My clams, my lobster, and my corn. First things first, I'm gonna wrap up my chicken quarters into aluminum foil. I'm gonna season it with some salt as well. 
Clam baked chicken isn't the sexiest looking thing. It's not getting a lot of color. It's nice and seamed. So I'm just gonna do a couple layers of, of aluminum foil just so that the foil doesn't break. We don't wanna get sand and stuff all over our food, you know? Okay, so next up, we're gonna wrap up the sausages. I'm going to put my potatoes into some of these bags. It keeps them all together. It's easier to take them out instead of putting them on individually. You can just grab the bag and remove it. Just make sure you don't blow your trash all over the beach. Don't be that guy. Leave no trace. So this is just some fresh Long Island corn we got on our way out here from a local farm stand. I'm gonna carefully kind of remove the, the husk. Remove a lot of that silk in there. And that's the cool thing about the corn is it's gonna just, I don't need to wrap this in anything. It's just gonna cook right in its husk. So next up, I'm gonna bag up my clams. So they're gonna go double bagged into some of these little seafood bags as well. This is all burnt down. It's nice, good embers. I'm gonna start with putting a little bit of the, the seaweed on top of it. And I'm gonna nestle in my chicken, my sausages, and my potatoes. So you can see it's steaming a bit. That's good, we want the steam. The rocks are nice and hot. Another layer of seaweed. And then I'm gonna do the corn, my clams. And then we're gonna put lobster on there as well. Putting some eggs in there, they're raw eggs. This is gonna let me know when the, the whole clam makes done. So it should take a little over an hour. When they're hard boiled, that means it's done. So I'm gonna go get this canvas tarp wet. It's gonna seal in the heat on top of it. And then I'm gonna put the canvas tarp on top. Look at our good little oven. So I'm gonna leave this for about an hour and a half or so. In the meantime, we sit, we drink some beer. <sighs> and now we wait. Just sit, look at your work, look at the ocean, reflect on your life and think about your future and where these waves will take you. Moment of truth. Let's check on this clam bake. Let's check that egg. Cool, so my egg is hard boiled. That's a good sign that the clam bake is done. So the corn looks great. It's nice yellow and the lobster's looking good. It's nice red and cooked. Got our clams, oop, nice and hot. The clams are ready, they look amazing. We got corn, we got potatoes, we got sausages, we got chicken, we got lobsters, and we have some cool beers. So I think we're gonna be good. Bill and his friends are gonna come over and we're gonna eat. Hey! Hey! Bill's back! We're here and I brought my peeps. <laughs> Yay! Where did you get the clams? I know a guy. <laughs> you guys might know a guy too. Huh? What a stellar day. Out on Long Island, clamming, clam bake, drinking some beers, made some new friends. No complaints here, so much fun. I'm just gonna like keep on drinking and hanging out and eating all this seafood until the sun goes down, I think. 